Hello me hearties, it's Captain Smooth with the first episode of fixing up an old yacht. All right, first job. Um, I had a battery that was going flat and this boat didn't have deep cycle batteries. So in the process of removing the house batteries, which are in there, and I was very lucky I had uh, a local guy on the boat next door who's an electrician come over while I was doing it. Um, unfortunately, the positive and negative terminal touched and it found an unprotected circuit which burnt out a wire. So there's the there's the uh, oh, the switchboard there. I suppose you call it. I don't know what you call it. Look at it. Look at it. Spaghetti. And um, I'll give you a close up of the burnt out wire. So in the process of that happening, um, the actual starter battery is right up here. I'm going to show you. So we're going to go through. We're going to go through the head which is in normal terms a toilet. Oh. And then we go down here, and then if you just have a look in that dark cavernous hole, um, see in the middle there of all those, see below those wires is a wooden box. That is where the starter battery was. And of course, when that, oh look at all that spaghetti wiring, fantastic. So when that, that wire burnt out it caused a lot of there was a lot of smoke a lot of toxic smoke from, from the pvc and um luckily ronnie was here because he realized what the problem was that the terminals were touching um, if i was by myself i probably would have tried to get through there in that toxic smoke and disconnect the battery that was my first um or just put a fire extinguisher on it. but we were pretty close like um yeah it was getting there was a lot of smoke so i do not ever want that to happen again and I want my starter battery where I can get to it. Now I've also got an old kerosene stove here and um, a lot of people like using kerosene stoves, stoves and I, I will show you how I light it up. I don't really like it because um, what you have to do is you first put metho in a little bowl and then you light that metho and then you pump up the Kero stove with a bike pump to pressurize it and then after the burner's warm enough from the metho you slowly release the Kero. Now no matter how often I do this I'm always getting black smoke and as an asthmatic I just don't want to be dealing with that. Um, so I'm going to forsake the oven and just put in at the moment just put in a single burner butane uh, uh, burner and just build a little aluminium tray. So put an aluminium tray on a gimbal and then um, under there I'll have a heap of room where I'll possibly in the future put a Waco. I have got a eutetic fridge on this but it's sort of up there and it's a bit hard to get to. So I may just have a Waco on a slide out set up and just uh, aluminium tray, drip tray uh, for my butane burner. Now what I was thinking of doing with the starter motor is to put that in this little space here. So just through here is a little bit of storage space. As you can see, there's a bit of storage in there. And just on the side there where the wooden, the side of the boat is, put my starter motor. And then if there is a problem like before, I can get in there quickly and disconnect the battery. I can get to it. And also it means it's just so much easier to remove when I remove it. I mean, I tell you, trying to remove that battery out of that little space was a real pain. So that is one of the first jobs I'm gonna do. Move the original box to the side there, remove the old Kero stove, and build a little uh, little uh, box gimbal for a butane single burner, and put in some deep cycle batteries. Uh, this had two batteries in it, probably gonna change the setup just to have one deep cycle battery for the house. And yeah, so that's, that's the first plans for Saquondo. What do you think? Give me your thoughts below. Is it a good idea to have a starter battery on the side of the boat? I mean, when we're starting the boat, I don't imagine there's gonna be many times when it's on the heel, on the lean. Um, can you think of any problems having it in that spot and not having it in the center of the boat? Uh, give me your thoughts. Hope you enjoyed.